I hate waiting in traffic at the supermarket, in the post office, for the microwave, is so not my jam. Which is unfortunate, considering the majority of my three decades and then some life has been in some kind of waiting season. And I can only assume that if you are watching this, you feel me, you get it, you know. <laughs> You've probably seen the meme on social media, and so let's play along. Tell me that you are in a waiting season without telling me that you're in a waiting season. And right about now, you're probably ready to show me a picture of your bare left hand, a negative pregnancy test, your nine to five desk job, even though you've got dreams to be on stage or write books. And right about now, I want to encourage you, don't despise these days of small beginnings. Okay, so they're not my words, that's the Bible. God breathed words that are alive with truth, strength and revelation. But I do want to encourage you, the waiting moments of life are sacred spaces that are never wasted or in vain. They are pivotal, holy, fundamental and life-giving seasons that will grow these five things in you if you embrace them. Number one, they'll grow a devotion to the promise giver, not the promise. You can idolize anything you want to. And when you're waiting for something specific, it can be really hard not to make it your God. Not in a worship it, bow down to it way, but in a all you can think about, all you pray about, allow it to dictate your mood kind of way. Trust me, I have been there. But you know what? God, the breather and keeper of promises is the reward always and waiting seasons are the perfect opportunity to run to the arms of the one who is more than enough for your every moment. Number two, they'll grow the ability to abide and not stride. Sooner or later, the frustration of waiting for whatever it is can become exhausting. We can become so fixated on the fruit of the waiting season that we take our eyes off of the Father. We can start to hustle and strive our way through, thinking it's all on us, all in our strength, all on us to make it happen. But when you remain in him, centering your soul on his word, welcoming his spirit, walking every day strengthened by him, you abide, your season bears fruit, and you learn the art and the sacred value of faithfulness. Number three, it will give you the strength to look up and not around. We've all been there. You want something, you're believing for something and suddenly you become aware of everyone in a three mile radius who's experiencing what you want. And you can start to compare, compete and suddenly the little strength you have is zapped looking around at everybody else. Look up, child. Thank you, Lauren Daigle. But look up and focus on the Father. You will never be strengthened when your sight is fixed on others. Look to the maker of you, the sustainer of you, the one who speaks life and truth and ushers you to a place where his promises and plans are fulfilled in you. Number four, it will give you a gratitude for the unseen. You know, if God never did another thing for you, would he have done enough? If the answer is no, maybe it's time to repent, time to recall, time to remember, because his mercy sacrifice redeemed and restored your life. He literally clothes you with the right standing. His grace meets you in your weakness. His strength overshadows your limitation. He prepared good work for you to do, and he meets you in your today and in your tomorrow. And that's enough. He is more than enough. He is enough for you. And number five, it will give you a freedom from achievement. When I was waiting to fall pregnant after two miscarriages, there was a time when it consumed my every waking moment. It was all I thought about, all I prayed for, and it became exhausting. There came a point when I surrendered everything to God, asking with the most sincerity I've ever had that his will would be done. I chose to trust him. And as I walked that prayer out, I felt free free from fear of it not happening, free from fear of the timing, free from fear that it was all on me. God is trustworthy. There are no guarantees, but you can be certain that he is more than enough for you and his perfect peace, joy and strength can sustain you in any moment. Well, friend, thank you so much for watching and for being part of this community. 
it would mean the world to us if you would like subscribe and if you found this helpful would you share this video with your friends if you want more head over to standupgirl.co.uk where you can find our membership community and heaps of content to help you thrive every day but remember you are the only expression of god that there will ever be so until next time stand up girl. Oh, no, no.